Hello friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Monday and I have your word for the day. Today's word for the day is going to tie into Wednesday's word for the day. Has being a follower of Jesus been hard on you because of your family? Maybe your family does not understand this decision that you make. Uh, maybe they don't care or maybe they think you're crazy. Maybe they think you're crazy that you read a Bible that's thousands of years old. Maybe they think you're crazy that you sing worship songs to this invisible God. Maybe they think, they think you're crazy because you go to church or you're involved with uh, growing maybe a life group as a believer. To be honest, when I gave my life to Jesus and I became a follower, my grandmother, who I lived with in high school, thought I was crazy. She said I was brainwashed and she asked me what on earth had gotten into me and she thought I'd gone bonkers. Well, Jesus' family thought he was crazy too. After Jesus had worked some miracles and had selected his disciples, he went into a house in a town. And when the townspeople heard that Jesus was there, they all rushed to see him. They were all raving about him. They were all talking about him. And when his family, his mother, his brothers, and his sisters heard about the review the town had given him, Mark 3.21 says, when his family heard what was happening, they tried to take him away they said, and I quote, he's out of his mind. Jesus' own family thought he was brainwashed. They thought he was a, a few cards short of a deck. They thought his elevator didn't go all the way to the top. They thought he was 11 donuts short of a dozen. They thought Jesus was out of his mind and crazy. So good news is this. If your family has ever treated you harshly, rudely or if they've acted like you were crazy because you gave your life to Jesus and you've become a follower of Christ, Jesus understands what that is like. So don't give up. Don't let their thoughts discourage you from being a Christ follower. He has been there before. He knows what it's like and truly everything we've ever experienced he can relate to. So continue to lean into your relationship with him. Continue to trust in him. Keep pouring out your heart to him. He cares for you and he's there for you right now. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, leave a comment. God bless.